Hi, I'm Mike Schoenborn, and welcome to my video on Bluetooth Android applications. I wrote this Bluetooth app using Google's App Inventor, and I'm able to send and receive data to this Arduino board via this Bluetooth module. Not only am I going to show you in a step-by-step -step video how I did this, I'm going to provide you with the software download at Element 14. Thanks for watching. Enjoy. To begin, I used App Inventor to write my program, Blue Moon, for this Bluetooth uh, Android application. If you haven't used App Inventor before, it's quite simple. Uh, you just click and get started. App Inventor will help set up your computer. It'll help set up your Android phone. And uh, if you haven't written an app before, it has a nice example app that takes about 15, 10, 15 minutes to program and upload to your Android. And you can test that part out real quickly. Once you have that working, you can go to Element 14's website and download my Blue Moon uh, application. And then you can upload it to App Inventor by browsing your hard drive. And you want to look for bluemoon.zip. Open up the file. And then you click OK. And Blue Moon is then uploaded into your projects directory on App Inventor. Next we go into the design editor interface where you see the user interface elements for the Blue Moon program. You have a graphical representation of the Android display here. One of the elements we have is a text box. This is where we display the characters that we receive from the Arduino board. And then we have a button that we program to send a character to the Arduino board. And then we have a Bluetooth status display that tells us if we're paired or connected. Two more Bluetooth buttons. This one finds devices that are available to be paired with, and this one allows us to connect or disconnect for debug purposes. And then a free running clock that if the clock isn't running, you know your application's hung, so more debug. The next we have the block editor interface, and this is actually the Blue Moon program. Nice thing about App Inventor is it's support of Bluetooth. We use Bluetooth client components for detecting and pairing and connecting with the Bluetooth devices and sending and receiving bytes. We have a screen initialization uh, block that's called when the application first launches. And then we have the connect button. And what's it, what you have to know here is that you got to send a UUID and you can find that code on the Bluetooth Special Interest Group website. Then we have uh, the list pickers, which is a button for finding the devices that the Android is actually paired with. You can't actually pair with this uh, program. You have to use the Android operating system to do that. And then we have the ability to receive uh, text. We use a clock interrupt and pull the Bluetooth buffer, take the bytes and send it out to the te uh, text display. And then finally we have uh, the uh, send button where we send an A to the uh, Arduino board and we have to end it with an, with an ACK flag. Now I want to introduce you to the Arduino code. This is bluemoon.pde. You'll need to install this into your uh, Arduino library. And this is a simple little program to send and receive characters. Uh, MeetAndroid.receive is the function call that receives characters from the Bluetooth module. MeetAndroid.send is the function that sends characters to the module. Test event is invoked when meetandroid.receive uh, buffer fills, and uh, this looks for an A in the buffer. If it finds one, it blinks the LED on and off. Uh, meetandroid.send just continuously sends characters 1 through 20 to the Bluetooth module. So a very simple program to start testing your link to the Android phone via Bluetooth. The Android code, bluemoon.zip, and the Arduino code, bluemoon.pde, can both be found on Element 14's document website. You'll need one additional piece of code for the Arduino, which is the uh, meetandroid underscore 3.zip. You'll find this at amerinotoolkit.net. Go and download the code and just follow the instructions on how to install it to your library. And here's a demonstration of the text being received by the Android phone generated by the Arduino board and transmitted via the Bluetooth module. Now I'll review the hardware setup. First we'll start with the Bluetooth module. You'll need to connect a transmit and receive wire pair. For the VCC and ground leads I used uh, about half inch uh, resistor leads. They work great as standoffs. 
This is the top of the Bluetooth module, and here you need to connect the CTS pin to the RTS pin. And that completes our mods to the Bluetooth module. Next, you want to connect the Bluetooth module to the Arduino board. The 3.3 volt connects here, the ground connects here, the Bluetooth transmit connects here, and the Bluetooth receive connects here. Here you see the Bluetooth module on the Arduino board. One note, when you're downloading code to the Arduino board, you need to disconnect the Bluetooth module's transmit wire from the Arduino board. It'll stomp on the data coming from the USB line and you won't get a successful download. Next, we're going to program the Bluetooth module from the PC and reset the baud rate from the factory default 115 kilobits to uh, 57.6K baud. First, we have to remove the processor from the Arduino board. And next, we're going to change the uh, transmit and receive pairs around so that Bluetooth transmit is to Arduino transmit and Bluetooth receive is to Arduino receive. So you just match those up. This allows the PC to communicate through the USB, through the FTDI chip on the Arduino board, and we can talk directly to the Bluetooth module. We'll use a terminal, terminal emulation program to do that. I use a program called PuTTY. It's a free download from the web and it works pretty well. Uh, my USB line is actually COM4, so I'll change it to COM4 and uh, we'll adjust the data rate to 115 kilobods to match the Bluetooth module. Force echo on so we can see what we're typing in the terminal emulation window here. Now we have to take, now we're communicating with the Bluetooth module and we have to take it out of data mode. We'll type uh, an AT command, dollar, 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 three dollar signs, and return. The Bluetooth module sends us back CMD, which tells us it's in command mode. We type D return, and we dump the memory in the Bluetooth module, and we can see that the baud rate is indeed at 115 kilobaud. Now, I'm going to uh, go and type an H, which should display the help screen, usually does on these types of devices. And here's a list of commands. We want to change the baud rate, uh, so the command for that is SU comma. And uh, we'll go ahead and type SU comma 57, and the Bluetooth module will respond with an OK. Uh, after we hit return, okay, there, so it accepted the command. We'll type D return, and uh, we can see that the baud rate has indeed changed to 57.6 kilo, kilobods. And now we want to get out of command mode and go back into data mode. That's three minus signs. Return, it says end, and now we are back into data mode. And that is configured our Bluetooth module. Okay, we'll do one final demonstration of the Android receiving streaming data from the Arduino board. You can see that the board is sending uh, characters to the Android uh, 1 through 20 with the control characters embedded in there because we didn't parse that out. I can also send a, uh, an A to the Arduino and make the LED blink. So now we got to send and receive path. We can disconnect the Bluetooth module. The indicator light goes red. We can reconnect it, the indicator light will go back to green. This is Mike Schoenborn. Thank you for watching my video. And don't forget that your software can be downloaded at Element 14 website under Documents. Search for Author Shoney for bluemoon.zip and bluemoon.pde. Don't forget to get your meet Android underscore three dot zip. Uh, library for your Arduino code that's at amarinotoolkit.net and I hope you have trouble-free Bluetooth connections and programming.